Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and today I'm going to show you what I think is a very useful tip. It's one that I get a lot of requests for. Uh, teachers often ask, when I'm in Google Classroom, how can I see the assignments from a student's point of view? And that's just one example of how this tip can be used. What I'm going to show you is how you can have multiple people set up in Google Chrome. And this is very useful for a lot of reasons. For example, if you have a district Google account that doesn't end in gmail.com, for example, my district ends in at phasd.us. And I also have a gmail.com email address for my own home use. So I'm going to show you how you can flip back and forth between two or more accounts within the same Google Chrome window. Here's an example of what that would look like. Now you can see my little avatar up here. This is my work email address that I'm logged into Google Chrome with right now. If I click on that, I can go into a student demo account right here. We have our Port Huron student demo account, which I can give out to members of our district. When I click on that, if I have this account joined to one of my Google Classrooms as a student, for example, this demo student could be a student in my classroom, then I can view my classroom assignments under the Classwork tab as that student and see what a student would see within my Google Classroom. A lot of teachers like to be able to do that. Now if I want to go back to my teacher account, I can just click here on this little avatar and go right back to my Mark Work account right here, which has a completely different set of bookmarks on the bookmark bar and a completely different set of tabs open. So it's completely different accounts under different people. So how can that be set up? It's really very simple. I'm going to start from my work account right here. And if I wanted to add an additional account, all I would have to do is click on this avatar and then click Add. And what I did originally was I set up my name. So you would just need your first name. And for this account, I'll just call it my teacher account. So this will be Mark Teacher. And then down here, what you can do is check this little checkbox and create a desktop shortcut for this user. And you'll be able to double click on that icon and go right into that account from your desktop. So it makes it very convenient. But this is optional. You don't have to do it. You can just uncheck it and then get to it from up here in the top right corner. It's really up to you. You can pick an avatar if you'd like or just go with whatever it gives you. I'm going to click Add. And the next step is to log in with your Google account for that particular user. And then click Next. Enter your Google account password. And then click Next. Now you'll be logged in to your Google account. And now when you click on your avatar in the top right corner, again remember, this is the avatar for Google Chrome, which is somewhat smaller than the one below it for your Google account. This is for Chrome. This is for your entire Google account. If you were to click on this larger of the two icons, this is where you could click to manage your Google account, change your password, and things like that. But for Google Chrome, all you need to worry about is the smaller of the two icons. Now when you click on that icon, you can go back and forth between multiple accounts. You see I have Mark's teacher account, I have Mark's home account, and I have my student demo account. So if I want to see my Google Classroom from my student's point of view, I can click on that. And then I can see my classwork from the student point of view. When I want to go back to my teacher account, I just click on my teacher account and it all flows seamlessly. And any open tabs that I had open before would remain open right here. If I decide to go back to my home account, all I have to do is click on Mark Home. And you can see that my email, my Google Drive, and my Google Classroom are all open just as they were before. So this is the most seamless way to go between different people's accounts within Google Chrome, not losing your place and not getting your documents and files confused with other people. It's like living different lives within the same Google Chrome browser. I hope this tip helped you today. This is Mark Rep. Join me again for another tech tip. Bye-bye.